So I'm pretty sure it doesn't come to the surprise of anyone watching the channel or that has been watching the channel for the past few months at least. I've definitely been working on and hammering down on collecting a lot of very cool knives and personally a lot of knives that you know I've seen for years or you know really had wanted for a long time at least from the makers or in these styles. So I thought it would be a fun video as I've collected dozens of knives over the past year and over the past six months. And I thought it would be really cool to talk about some of my favorite five knives that I've collected or the best five knives, or at least my favorite personal knives I've collected over the past six months, because I have added a ton in the last six months and technically a year, but we'll talk about just the last six months. And then of course we will have one runner up at the end because to be honest, five knives really isn't quite enough in my opinion, because there are so many cool blades in this collection. Anyways, guys, let's jump right into it. So the first one off for me, and it's not just because it's the most expensive knife in the collection, not just because it's the most expensive knife in the collection, but unarguably the maker of this blade is an awesome maker, been making knives for many moons, and it just makes a very fantastic blade. Not to mention one of my favorite colors is purple, especially like a darker pur purple, and this kind of faded purple look to this blade. Not only is very Halo-esque, which is, I something I find cool, but also a very overall pleasing aesthetic. So anyways, this is the Gavco. All right, so now let's talk about some of the knives that have made the list. And of course, we're gonna go from least cool to the coolest. So first off, let's start off with the Spyderco Smock. Now the Spyderco Smock is one that I've semi-recently acquired and is super fidgety and very, very pocket friendly. And that's probably one of my favorite things about it outside of its very cool reverse compression lock, button lock style. Like it looks like it has a button lock, but it's really just a compression lock backwards. And uh, it's very smooth and uses bearings on top of phosphorus bronze washers to make it an incredibly smooth action, but it's just a very fun knife to play with, but also because it's so slim, because it's so compact, and because of how the flipper tab is built, the back is very uh, thin, there's nothing protruding out, so it is a very carryable knife, and of course the blade style is very useful as well for EDC, so not only is this a nice knife to look at, play with, but also it is very practical, very functional, and very carry friendly. So that is the Spyderco Smock, and it is the number five position for me, or it is in number five for me. Next one up, and another one that is very EDC slash practical, is the TRM Neutron 2. This is one that I have to thank my subscribers for. It was a heavy recommendation from the subscribers that drove me to get a TRM, and this particular one is the Neutron 2. And like I said, this isn't necessarily the most pretty knife to look at, but it is very functional, has a very smooth action, and is honestly like a super thin, super slicey blade. So if you're looking for something that's just like straight up practical for EDC, the Smock and the TRM are my kind of go-tos. Now, the next one up on the list is undoubtedly one of my favorite knives in the collection. And it does place a little bit lower because I do have some really cool knives in this collection, but it is my Purple XM18 three and a half inch. And this one has to be on the list because I think as far as it goes, like this is an excellent bridge knife between the strict practicality of something like the Smock and the TRM. Like they're not as showy knives, as though the Smock does look good, but I I think the XM18, as I fail to flip it, is a not only very attractive looking knife, like it looks very good, at least in my opinion. Some people might not think this looks good, but I love the recurved blade. I love the purple handles. I love the purple anodized uh, titanium uh, liner on the show side. It's just overall an incredibly good looking knife to me. And then of course it has all of that function where it is incredibly smooth uh, in action. It deploys hard and fast and it has a good blade length to do whatever you need to do with it from an EDC, 
EDC standpoint. So overall, this knife, I think, bridges the gap between functionality and form very well. Now, the next two we're going to get into are a little bit more form. Like, don't get me wrong, they're still sharp knives. They'll still cut things, but these are a little bit more lookers than they are um, performers. I mean, they perform just fine. They just look really good. So the first one is the Heretic Manticore X Bounty Hunter Edition. So this one, of course, is very Mandalorian slash Boba Fett themed with Boba Fett's colors being present in it. But I think what really gets me as far as looks go is, like I said, you have this very nice kind of battle-worn, um, you know, turquoise side to symbolize um, Boba Fett's armor or color. And then, of course, you have this carbon fiber or fat carbon fiber side that has the Boba Fett colors like yellow, green, um, infused in red, I should say, infused into it. So it looks very good. Like it's a very good looking knife. And then, of course, you have a nice long Tanto um, Magna Cut blade on this. So there is a good amount of performance. Don't get me wrong. It is a good performer, but it also just looks amazing to me. So a good looker and performer leaning a little bit more towards the looks side. Now, the next one up is going to be not so much. I don't know. I would say this is a looker for sure. It is the Gavco Nurse XL, and this is a custom one of one um, Gavco Nurse, and it is just a really fantastic, beautiful piece. Once again, it is purple, which is my favorite color. Uh, this kind of like faded, darker purple looks great. Of course, super smooth action running on bearings too, if I remember correctly, um, and it is just a fantastic knife. I really do like it. And moreover than just its performance or its looks or its rarity is that it is a Gavco custom. So that means that this is handmade by Gavco and or Michael Gavick from Gavco Knives. And that means the most to me personally. So anyways, that is the final one for these knives. And uh, yeah, it like I said, it just means a lot to me. And it is also my first custom. So that's another very cool feature of it. So anyways, those are my top five favorite knives of the list or of the knives that I've gotten. And I will say last one up, of course, we have to do a runner up because there are so many fantastic options. And don't get me wrong, I really do love my Strider ProTec SNG um, or ProTec Strider SNG, however you want to say it. It is a really great knife, but I will say, I think this one slightly beats it just because this is another one that I've really been trying to get the uh, Spartan Sp ah, the Spartan SHF or Harzi folder for those who don't know and this one just looks beautiful. It not only has a really cool awesome picture on it uh, engraved into the handles uh, just really sets this knife off but this is also a knife that is made with Chad Nichols um, Damascus steel blade and it is cool. So this blade just I don't know it really speaks to me and uh, its lines are very beautiful. I I love looking at it, not just for the pretty image, so to speak, but it just has such great lines. It looks so good in that uh, Damascus blade just looks stunning. Like it is hard to express, but I really do love it. So once again, you know, this knife leans more towards the kind of looker side of things, you know, very similar to the Bounty Hunter and the Gavco. It is a little bit more of a looker, but it is awesome. So anyways, guys, there are a ton of great knives in my collection. Also super, super stoked to finally have an Umnum Zahn as well. But if I had to say, that is my list as far as it goes. So anyways, guys, hopefully you enjoyed the video and me drooling over these awesome, incredible knives. As always, God bless, and I'm out.